Hello and welcome to the first ever video of the Western Wisconsin Fair Maps Project. My name is Janelle and I'm with Pierce County Grassroots Organizing where we believe that everyone's vote should count the same. So we want fair voting districts in Wisconsin. In this video, we're going to do three things. First, we're gonna explain what gerrymandering is. Second, we're gonna explain how we can fix gerrymandering so we do have fair maps. And third, we're gonna let you know how you can join the effort because it's way more fun to be in the game than on the sidelines and well, also because we really need you. <laughs> so let's jump right in and talk to Matt Rothschild from Wisconsin Democracy Campaign, our expert on all things about gerrymandering and fair maps. Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Can you explain to us just briefly, what is gerrymandering? Well, it's interesting. This I found out when I got to the Wisconsin Democracy Campaign because I didn't know where the word came from. And it's a funny little story because the word uh, dates back to the early part of the 19th century where Governor Jerry or Gary, G-E-R-R-Y of Massachusetts was in power and after a census back then, he rigged the maps in favor of his political party. And the maps were such bizarrely shaped creatures, one actually looked like a salamander. So people put the name Gary and Salamander together or Jerry and Salamander together to get to gerrymander. And it's been with us ever since. Well, I hear um, the term gerrymandering. I also hear the term uh, fair maps. What, are they the same thing? How, how do they relate to each other? Yeah, the fight for fair maps is the same identical fight as the fight to ban gerrymandering. It's just one one way to express it and another way to express it. Okay. And how does gerrymandering impact like my vote? Well, a lot of people don't have equal representation because of gerrymandering. Remember, people fought in our Revolutionary War for equal representation. We don't have equal representation if the uh, party that's in power rigs the map so it muffles the voices of the people against them. A and that should be unconstitutional. It's outrageous. And my understanding is in some other states, um, Democrats have done this as well. Are there currently any examples of that happening in other states and Democrats having the power? Yeah, it was, it's happened in Illinois a lot. It's happened in Rhode Island. The classic was uh, the U.S. Supreme Court had a case last year, last June, they decided a case where they could have uh, thrown out hyper-partisan gerrymandering like we've been suffering under here for the last 10 years because they were dealing with two cases at the U.S. Supreme Court. One was from Maryland where the Democrats grotesquely gerrymandered the map and the other was from North Carolina where the Republicans grotesquely gerrymandered the map. And what did uh, Chief Justice Roberts decide? Well, on the one hand, he said, and this is a direct quote, that hyperpartisan gerrymandering is incompatible with our democratic principles. Wow, when he said that, I thought for sure they're going to throw this out. But then he said, and this is not a direct quote, go away, don't ever come back. We don't ever want to hear from you again. The courthouse door is locked. Mm -hmm. He said no federal court can now deal with a partisan gerrymandering uh, issue and decide it one way or another because it's not up to the courts to decide. It's up to the states to decide. So what are our options in Wisconsin? What can we do to fix the problem? We can have the legislature pass a law and the governor to sign a law, and then we can get rid of gerrymandering. We can have fair maps in Wisconsin. And the neat thing is that we don't have to reinvent the wheel here. Iowa invented the wheel 40 years ago. They didn't put a patent on the sucker. We can copy what they did in Iowa and we can have fair maps in Wisconsin. In Iowa, what they did was simply, they said career civil servants in the equivalent of our Legislative Reference Bureau uh, will draw the maps with real specific criteria that prohibit them uh, from using political demographic data, you know, which district voted predominantly Republican, which district voted predominantly Democrat. They can't use that data to rig the maps. And by excluding the use of that data, it'll be impossible for them to to gerrymander or gerrymander with any degree of, of success. And so that's the model we want to see adopted. So in Pierce County, we had a referendum and our neighboring county, St. Croix County, also had a referendum on April 7th and both passed by 76%. So um, our elected officials, if they're representing us, should want to take that a step further, right? Occasionally, that's how it should happen. That's how democracy is supposed to happen. 
this effort to pressure our legislators and let them know that the vast majority of people in their district want this to happen that can have the desired effect, which is to have whoever is representing you actually represent what you want. Right, exactly. So what makes you hopeful about the Fair Maps effort? Well, this movement has just caught fire. That's been the exciting thing over the last five and a half years since I've been at the Wisconsin Democracy Campaign. You know, out of almost nowhere, we've got 50 counties to pass county board resolutions to ban gerrymandering. Uh, and send a message to the legislature, please sign this bill and give us fair maps in Wisconsin. We've got 17 counties, including now Pierce County and St. Croix County, to pass referendums saying the people want to see this happen. And the grassroots effort is very exciting for me to see. And that is really the theme of this effort to give us fair maps in Wisconsin and the very ban gerrymandering in Wisconsin, unrig the system, give us fairness, just basic level playing field. I mean, I think that's what Wisconsinites want. There's nothing, uh, you know, more Wisconsin nice than a level playing field. And, uh, you know, rigging the maps deprives us of a level playing field. That's why we need to ban gerrymandering in Wisconsin. Woo, that was a lot of information. All right, let's recap. The maps are rigged. Let's check it out for ourselves. Here is the Wisconsin State Assembly map. Take a look at Assembly 87 and 74. And here's the Wisconsin Senate map. Check out District 25 and 29. Also, here's how it impacts your vote. In 2018, even though Democrats got 54% of the votes, they only won 36% of the seats. But Democrats, don't start getting too self-righteous on us now. It actually tried to get uh, the Democrats to pass a bill in 2009 and 2010 when Democrats had the state assembly and the state senate and Jim Doyle was governor to pass a bill there to ban uh, gerrymandering. They had the power to do it, but they didn't do it because uh, people in, uh, in the Democratic Party have told me the leadership back then thought they were going to win in 2010 and could rig the maps for themselves. And gerrymandering is wrong whether Democrats are rigging the maps or Republicans are rigging the maps. So we know Wisconsin has been gerrymandered. And the people of Wisconsin want this changed because 76% of people in Pierce and St. Croix County and over 70% of people across the state have said that they want this to change. Here's a fantastic map from the Wisconsin Coalition on Fair Maps to check out. And also, here's Matt talking about the Marquette School Poll. The vast majority of Wisconsinites want to ban gerrymandering. There was a Marquette Law School Poll about a year and a half ago that showed that 72% of Wisconsinites want fair maps, want nonpartisan redistricting, want to ban gerrymandering. And amazingly, that included 63% of Republicans uh, and 76% of independents. So the people are with us on that. So now we know Wisconsin's gerrymandered, the Wisconsinites want it fixed. So next step is to get our legislatures and our senators to sign the pledge to say that they will support it in the next opportunity they get. Here's the pledge. Now let's take a look at Pierce County because I'm with Pierce County Grassroots Organizing. Our senators have signed, great. Our legislators haven't. So we've got Patrick and Zimmerman that have not. Let's contact them, ask them why. Also, running against them are Sarah Yacoub and Charlie Warner, and they do support it. So next time around, we're gonna bring you news from the four of them on what their views are on fair maps. Now, because we share representatives with a lot of our neighboring counties, here's the information on whether they have or haven't signed the pledge. So what's next? Number one, contact us. Let us know that this is an important issue for you so that we can work together to make the change. Number two, go ahead and contact all those representatives who haven't signed the Fair Maps Pledge yet. 76% of us want the change. They represented us. Remind them. Just as in the winter time, you put on your boots and your winter coat and you go dig your neighbor out of the ditch when needed, now's the time for us to work together to make this change. And now that you're on board, let your neighbors know and your friends know as well, because no one wants to be on the sidelines. Let's all be in the game together. Let's make this happen. I look forward to working with you.